Hello and welcome to another episode of our special series, the Atomic Times Cutting Chai Stories, an initiative by ETH. I am Ashwini Mishra, bringing to you conversations over a cup of chai as we speak about their personal and professional lives, hobbies, and other engaging topics. Joining me today is the Chief Operating Officer of IDFC First Bank, Madhivanan Balakrishnan, fondly called as Madhi. Welcome, Madhi on this episode of Cutting Chai Stories. Thank you, thank you, Ashwini. Really a pleasure to be here. Can you quickly walk us through your childhood? Lessons that you learned early, which have stayed with you till date. <laughs> Actually, nothing very interesting about my life in particular. Uh, I am a guy who is a Tamilian, Born and brought up in Bombay, so I'm more of a Maharashtrian by the way I've grown up. So my Marathi is better than my Tamil, yet I can speak Tamil reasonably well. Uh, I did all my education. I come from a typical lower middle class family uh, in the suburbs of Mumbai. Uh, did my education uh, within Bombay University. Uh, got into I am Cal. Uh, finished, uh, I mean, specialized with marketing and finance as my primary drivers. Aspiration was always to join FMCG uh, company, the typical one, you know, the Unilevers of the world, and try to want to get in and become a good sales and distribution expert. But life had different plans. Uh, I landed with a, a paint company. Uh, very quickly, I moved into Pepsi. So I did a lot of sales and distribution in uh, Pepsi Foods Limited when they were just coming into business. So hardcore sales and distribution, typically that FMCG bit sort of uh, bit into me. Had one or two more stints and moved from Pepsi into a semi uh, you know, uh, kind of a, a durable kind of a business, which is primarily uh, garments. So as a part of the Arvind Mills uh, group, spent around another four, four and a half years. And, uh, and then I think as Destiny could have it, uh, joined ICICI Bank uh, in 1999. And since then, I've become more of a financial services guy and have done virtually every aspect of the business. Uh, you know, but this this is this is typically how my career has progressed. But childhood was, you know, classical fun. The typically what you would grow up in the eighties, have your own aspirations, uh, challenging, and uh, uh, multiple aspects of life. So, so it's, it's, it was great fun growing up. So, uh, how interesting were you uh, kids from your age, Madhi? You know, so any anything peculiar about you? I don't know. Nothing peculiar. So, used to uh, play cricket in a very aggressive way. Used to be called uh, Malcolm, uh, the equivalent of a Malcolm Marshall, because you used to take the ball as much as fast as you could. So, those are the things. Uh, you know, the, the childhood was primarily very, very, how do I call it? Freedom was of a very unique kind. I mean, look, we, are, we, we, are, we are one of those generations which has seen, uh, you know, a telephone from the uh, good old days, which is a dial telephone. Uh, so, to the various yes, aspects, yes. We were the first one of the lucky people to actually handle that first Nokia, which was like a brick, and then learn about and pay. Uh, so, so life has been very, very different. I come from a typical railway family, so my my grow, growth has been about Indian railways has played a very, very active role in my life from the time as a childhood. So, studied in a railway school, stayed in a railway quarters. So, interesting in its own, but uh, yeah, so. And Bombay itself was, uh, so even packed us from the suburbs, Bombay itself was a dramatically new experience, but uh, uh, sure. multiple changes. If there is anything which has been constant in my life that's been changed. I'm a typical Gemini and I tend to get very, very bored very quickly. So I keep moving in things, whether it be during my childhood, in our profession. Uh, so I think the biggest, the longest thing that I ever done is in ICIC Bank, but even within that, I've done multiple roles. Not like this, but that. You have uh, what you learn here. Of course, you touched upon you know the change is the one, only constant for you. What what kind of uh, you know uh, uh, things propel you to do things you know for, to make make a difference? So there are two things. There two things should be able to talk to me as a person. Uh, anything is challenging. So something uh, that build it. Uh, go to various uh, pushes and pulls that comes with when you're creating anything uh, new. Uh, if there is a new, uh, at least I think it's always pushing me to 
like a crisis number to go solve it or build something you know create something you know that's what typically uh, pushes and then you should even start so i know whether it's a good rate or a bad rate but i've been enjoying it so as long as i'm enjoying it it's good fun so maybe one day i feel tired and want to just settle down and uh, do things which are normal and boring Adi, what have been the achievements that uh, you have been proud about you know so over the years of your of your professional journey no i won't be able to single out anything specific actually but life has been uh, you know a sine curve of ups and downs uh, let me let me mention the one of the largest franchises in the between 2000 to 2010 uh that's something which i hold very dear i think we virtually created the market from scratch we went into new segments new markets a very nice blend of both technology as well as uh, very nice product propositions so that that's something which is really uh, fantastic again uh, and it was not like 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 i was telling you earlier it was a very comprehensive experience we were actually went through the multiple risk models talking about the collection pressure and the markets went down so that that's one uh A, chal- a, a genuinely big challenge which made me very humble was the 3i infotech experience you know everybody wants to lead a company build it as we scratch so uh, the fact that i was able to bring it out of the morass that it was in which was basically on the financial side and build it into an operating company which was able to uh, sort it out uh, from a financial angle saving uh, ensuring that all our employees are well protected uh, gave me a lot of uh, satisfaction but at the same time also humbled me because it was not able to grow it dramatically as i would have allowed it to uh, go into a different uh, trajectory altogether so that's also a bit of an humbling experience uh, and then this entire digital journey of constantly working with a larger ecosystem not just i mean banking is no more now limited to the bank as a player how do you embrace the multiple ecosystems uh, creating that connect uh, within the much wider world Uh, i think those are some of the stuff that i'm extremely uh, happy and uh, it's been great learning experience it's been very satisfaction as a part of the career so I, if you give me a chance to live life again i'll go through it all over once again so so those are some of the achievements that i really feel proud about how do you lead your team hopefully you know, the so best will yet to come yeah. so okay <laughs> i'm sure yes madhi yeah, yeah in terms of leading your team you know where did you pick up your team skills and what is about your behavior that attracts uh, people towards you i don't know so usually wherever whenever whichever teams i have worked with people at least if i can claim it very openly people like to work with me uh, i'm not one of the classical theory x bosses i genuinely i understand what my lack of is i try to build people within my team so will be able to complement that skill Uh, like for example, I, I, I'm not a hardcore technical guy. I'm not. I'm not an engineer by profession. So I did from Bombay University. So, but but the fact that I'm able to handle technology across both as a provider and as a user uh, is effectively possible because the team members are usually people who bring in some of those right skills. Uh, I think, uh, I, uh, and and as a leader, I always let go of the bait, and if somebody else is much better, then I would rather that he drive the agenda, and I'm happy to help him, you know, navigate the. organizes the challenges or any kind of an environmental market or the budgets and what not so so that's been a good play i i mo- it, usually my teams are like a bunch of rocket scientists who are who each one of them has their own skills and the model is always not a classical uh, you know an organizational hierarchy where the senior guys drives the agenda uh, so it's it's much more like a bunch of people coming together in an agile way delivering something and then moving on in life so so that's that's helped me so people feel much more comfortable that's been my leadership style i give quite people quite a bit of uh, rope as long as the accountabilities are very clear and uh, whenever there is an issue i'm always there to take the blame and you know shoulder it on so i think that's that's been so if people at least i believe so that people love to work with me and i usually form nice teams which uh, are able to deliver what are supposed to be delivered right what do you enjoy doing in your free time amadi you know in the little free time that you might have you know any any hobbies or interests that you pursue any musical instruments that you play you know right from childhood i always wanted to you know play the tabla but unfortunately tabla is too complicated you have to learn it and i don't have the time or the inclination to learn anything new uh, but i can play the zembe i can play what you typically call the three uh, the the the, the 
the bongo, which helps me to, in my, in my own way, I have not learned it. So, in a way, I live my dream through my son. My son you do, you do, but, but frequently, you know, it's again on and off. So. No, so, uh, see, I have, I love this concept of doing a mehfil with my friends. So, oh. usually, whenever you do the mehfil, there are always people who sing very well. And I'm the guy who can't sing for nuts. <laughs> but uh, you give me something to play on and uh, I become, you know, I blend in very well with the party. Otherwise, I'm typically a very shy person. But I really, I really love percussion instruments. Like I told you, my son is a fantastic <laughs> tabla player. It's a training or... Or, you know, it's not at all, actually, no taking it. This is what so that's one of my I, I attempted it once or twice, but it's just that the schedule uh, maybe, maybe I need to put in much more effort. But, uh, uh, but I, I, I managed to play reasonably well. That's what my friends tell me. So I think I'm pretty okay. But, but when you do that, I really sort of lose myself. You're completely focused on that. You enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's a great, I'm sure, no, it's a great, a great creative outlet, uh, Madhi, you know. So, yeah, yeah. How have you invested in your uh, in your yourself, Madhi, in terms of improving your skills? You know, is it more that you learn it on the go, or there are some areas, or some books, or some uh, podcasts, for for example, that you listen to, you know, to keep updated on the new skills that have. So there are two core areas in which uh, I've typically been. One is on the job itself. So that is this dramatic amount of see when you're when you're doing a role, uh, whether it be the CTO or the chief operating officer. You have the ability to learn both from your own internal colleagues and uh, fantastic partner ecosystem. So, you know, there's an entire new world of cloud. So, there's some very strong players who we talk to them, we invite with them. There's interactivity helps in a big way. Uh, I, I, I am a regularly a subscriber to the various podcasts that comes from the, the consulting companies who are able to distill some of these thoughts much more faster. So, we're able to come up the curve reasonably quickly. But my tech partners, uh, some of the consulting podcasters, some of the projects that we do where you're actually learning as we go along. So whether it be the SaaS applications, whether it be some of the infrastructure, which is of the new way, or working with some of the companies which provide us with the data solutions, I think great learnings there. Besides uh, what you would do, catch up on the reading in terms of those particular skills that you would want to do. So it's, it's a good mix. And our own internal teams, we have this, uh, you know, internally we have... Uh, Within my organization, we invite a lot of external people to come and talk to uh, almost, we are almost a thousand member team between uh, our core people who are within the organization as well as some of the external partners. So, learning from each other, whether it be some of our partners, whether it be some of our uh, yeah, you know, companies which have great thought leadership in a particular area of operation. So, I think this is the way you keep continuously keep building your skills and uh, try to get the cutting edge of uh, what is possible. So, it, it does both. On one hand, it helps you enhance the perspective of what is happening and how things will play out. On the other hand, the techno functional skills that is needed, how can you use uh, some of the latest tools and technologies so that you can get the best out of it? So, that, that's the way I've been. Uh, uh, so, you try to blend both together. Right, right, right. Apart from the corporate uh, bandit, you know, do you do you have something uh, like a pers personal ambition, Madhi? You know, so something that you think you would like to do after you retire? Or... I always thought I'll become a good teacher. As in, whenever I decide to hang my boots, maybe go and work uh, in my alma mater as a visiting faculty or something. So that's something. But that's that's more actually to talk to people, understand it, talk about some of the things that you learned. So I've done multiple lectures, uh, especially with some of my. Uh, you know, some mentors who have always uh, wanted me to bring in the practical aspects of life. So these things have been very useful. So I've enjoyed those sessions. Uh, maybe at some point of time, not just uh, and nothing, nothing from an earning perspective. It is basically trying to give back to the society at various levels. So that could be a part of a school, or it could be part of one of my own alma mater to talk about uh, the things that you learned. Uh, I think that I would I would consider myself very very fortunate because every time I've done that. It's always given me a great degree of satisfaction. I love if it if, if that becomes a reality. If it's not the CEO CEO at IDFC First Bank, what other career would you have taken? If it had not been, see, if banking was never a eh, during my campus days, I never I never attended even one single interview for any of the banks because I always thought I, banking con karega. But this is how life has come in through. Uh, Maybe in the healthcare industry or in the education industry. These are the two things which I think if I were to look at the hindsight of the last 30 years of whatever I worked through, 
if I believe there is something which blends both your passions, what you enjoy and how you would love to give back to society, either of these two careers, I, I wouldn't call myself a school teacher. I don't have the patience to bring young kids, small kids, but maybe at a college level or something, you should be able to do a decent job. So either education or a health care. This is another aspect. Actually, I never touched upon it. Uh, I actually wanted to become a doctor, but unfortunately, never oh. did it. So, so that's how life changed. Okay. My daughter has become a doctor. So, so, you know, you live life through some of other your children's uh, Right, so that's that's how it plays out. So either healthcare or education; these are the two areas that I would love to. Besides, yes, so I, I missed out asking you know, Bharti. So you did your BSc in uh, in chemistry, I believe, right? So yes, yes, I am a BSc chemistry graduate, and then uh, actually at a very short, uh, I was doing a postgraduate diploma in VJTI on food, drugs, and cosmetics. Right. Uh, during the time when I got through CAT, so that's when uh, uh, IMC happened, and then from then onwards, life has been. Uh, so, paint industry, FMCG, garments, and then BFSI. BFSI. Yeah. In between the tech stint, which was linked to the uh, banking, but this is how life has been ups and downs in various different aspects. Of. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Madhi. Yes, anything that you have to add, Madhi? No, no, no. I think it's been fantastic talking to you. Nice. It just brought back some good old memories. I was trying to scratch my brains and say, if you had a chance, then how would you go about doing it? So, but thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity. Really, really nice chatting with you, Ashini. Thank you, Martin. Not you, Martin. related to business. Yeah. Yeah, more <laughs> to personal. There is there is a bit too much energy and conviction in this conversation with you, Martin. You know, so one thing I'm surely taking away from this session is the way you focus to pursue the passion that is truly yours. I hope our viewers find the same. All the best for IDFC First Bank. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.